Hey guys, so I'm going to go through my off-season weekly schedule with you guys. Here we have the table. Um, this is, mind you, a harder week, which I have every like three to four weeks. It's kind of rare. But I usually have two rest days. So that Thursday there with um, the light dribbling and cardio, that would normally be a rest day. Off-season basically is for, I try to build my foundation just in fitness-wise, soccer skills-wise, strength-wise, Basically everything, just building a foundation for in-season that I can just uh, try to maintain. Um, these are workouts that can't be done in-season, so they normally just make me more sore. If it's like high reps, higher weight, um, just more volume, and so it probably would make me more sore. And so I can't really do that in-season because I'm trying to stay not sore for the game and practice it and stuff. This all depends on your resources. For me, sometimes I don't have the gym, sometimes I'm only body weight, sometimes I have resistance bands. So it all depends, but this is basically the structure. Two times a week plyometrics, two times a week sprints, uh, seven times a week soccer, really, because I mean scheduled five to six times a week, but for this month, I'm trying to do a habit of 1,000 juggles every day. Cardio two times a week, and for the gym, here is scheduled two times a week. So for plyometrics, uh, basically, what I'm trying to focus on is force absorption and then production and then those in multi-directional planes. For sprinting, basically, I'm working on the acceleration phase and running mechanics, uh, top speed, all that stuff. Soccer, of course, as you can see here, I am alternating between first touch dribbling, first touch dribbling, and then I have finishing on Saturdays. Um, I can always switch that up and just have it like all different aspects of soccer and like on Monday or whatnot, but this is what I'm doing right now. For the gym, I basically focus on compound exercises like deadlift, bench press, squats, and then I move on to dumbbell work, um, cable work, machine work maybe, and then some core work. For cardio, I'm trying to improve my mile time and my VO2 max with high intensity interval training. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy.